Hello and welcome to another episode of Crazy Hank TV. Today we're going to review the holiday classic, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Before we get started, a little bit of trivia, a little bit of fun here. Did you know that the voice of Rudolph was performed by Billy Ray Richards, and she was a female? So, there you go, a little bit of trivia. I didn't know that, or at least I didn't remember that until I looked it up today. But yes, Billy Ray Richards performed the voice of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Now, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, growing up as a kid, uh, came out in 1964, so I would have been about two, but my first memories of it, I loved Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It, it, was, it, was the, it was exciting because when it would come on, it meant just Christmas was around the corner, I had to start being good and behaving, you know, because Santa Claus was watching. I had, I had, it was, it was my note, I was put on notice. Rudolph is out, time to be good. I loved it growing up as a kid, but as you get, you know, you get older and you start realizing things, it's kind of a, it's a mean show. It's a mean show. I mean, we have Santa who is just, and I hate saying this out loud because he could be watching and I, you know, I, I, I want to be good, but he's, he's a bit of a jerk. He, not, not just, but he is a jerk. But then I was watching it again and I said, you know, his wife, uh, uh, Mrs. Claus, she's pushing him to eat. Eat Santa, eat, eat, and he's like, I don't want to eat. No one wants a skinny Santa. Eat, eat, eat. I mean, she's just on him, left and right. So that could be it. I don't know. I'm not trying to make excuses for Santa, but if he's watching, you know, I kind of was a little bit helping you out there. You know, you have the, you have the kid. Uh, they, they're going to play reindeer games. Of course, Rudolph has to cover his nose because God forbid anyone have a red nose. But Fireball comes up. Hey, we can be pals. We can be buddies. You know, all that stuff. Hey, look at the nose. And, you know, just because, let me give you some advice, Fireball, d down the road. Just because someone's a little different, because what, when he found out, he oh, what the, what, what the hell is going on with you, freak, oh my god. So uh, we're no longer pals anymore. And, and what happened to you in life, uh, Fireball? What did you accomplish? I think you kind of flamed out, because I've heard all the stories, of, you know, the different Rangers, Donner, Blitzen. I don't hear no Fireball. So I guess you became nothing. And maybe that's because karma came back and bit you in the in the backside there. Fireball. Yeah, when, again, if you're going to be someone's pal, be someone's pal no matter what. So just get out of here, Fireball. I'm done with you. And we have we have uh, Hermie who wants to be a dentist, you know, and all the other elves are like, oh, Hermie wants to be a dentist. Oh, my gosh. And, and then you have, the, you have the one bigger elf. He's the, like, boss elf. He's what? You know, he's all crazy and stuff. And I used, to, I used to hate this guy. I wanted to punch him in the face. But, you know, again, Santa's kind of a jerk to him also. I mean, the reindeer, I mean, the reindeer, the elves don't have enough to do building their box toys with wheels. That they, that they got to perform a song for Santa. And does Santa like it? And, it, it, and the big elf dude, he, he wrote it. And, and, of course, Santa, oh, this is crap. I'm out of here. And then, you know, Mrs. Claus says, oh, you know, Papa, he's a little stressed and stuff like that. But, you know, again, the elves have nothing better to do. But going back to Hermie being a dentist, the other elves, I think, are jealous because Hermie is the only male elf with hair. All the other male, all the other male elves are bald, so that could be a little friction there too. Because what's the big deal? He wants to be a dentist, you know. Of course, can't be a dentist. Oh my god! And so then we move on, to, you know, and, and the whole thing. And you know, of course, Rudolph can't play reindeer games. He's kicked out. He's exiled. And and people forget that Rudolph almost died. He could have died during this whole thing. I mean, because he had a red nose. He could have died, you know, saying, oh, God, we got to fix this, you know, he, he can't, he can't, you know, if he wants to be on my team someday, he can't have no red nose, you know, I'm the only one ought to have a red nose. But, you know, then they, you know, they come across the Island of Misfit Toys and, you know, okay, they got some problems. You got a, you got a cowboy riding an ostrich, a, a gun that shoots jelly, it's in the water, uh, you know, and then you have the Charlie in the box. Okay, Charlie, let me just give you some advice. Charlie, you're, the average age of the kids playing with you are going to be three and four, five maybe. They can't read. Just tell them your name is Jack. Nobody's going to know. Problem solved right there. All those years you were, <laughs> oh, my God, I'm Charlie. No one's playing with Charlie in the box. You, you're Jack in the box. You just change your name. That's all there is to it. But I don't know what these toys are upset about. You go back, and I just watched the elves building these block toys with wheels. I'm thinking, you know, I'd rather have the Island Misfit toys over those toys. So I, that is a complete wash. I don't get it. But it move on. But overall, then, of course, Santa at the end, because Rudolph comes back. He has to go, and, oh, I guess I need your help. So I guess I was sorry. I was wrong. I was such a jerk. So maybe that's the moral, the moral of the, 
the whole show is that you, you should be nice to people because someday you might need to use them for something. I guess that's it. But overall, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, holiday classic. I'm going to give it three crazy hanks. Almost give it three and a half, but it just it just shows it's so darn mean. But it brings back such memories of, of just I just loved again when it came out. I was I was happy and I was good for like twenty five straight days, you know, and that's a record for me. But that's all I got. Thanks for watching. I'm out.